Okay, go ahead and uh, share the video. It's about, well, you will tell me what it's about. So I want you to closely listen to the story. It's a um, high school senior. I mean, uh, uh, the boy is now, of course, not that young. This is from 2015, all right? So um, something that I hope will inspire each one of you. He's fought obstacles everywhere being bullied, being teased. As a parent, man, that hurts. But yet now, he went through all that. He overcame all that. Look what he's doing now, man. He's playing Bar City football. To be completely honest with you, Marky has completely redefined perseverance in my mind. When you look at Marky, and, and you look at the hand that he was dealt in life at an early age, and, and his, his desire and passion for sport, for a young man with, with one arm, to go out and play wide receiver uh, in Texas, in high school, in 6A, I mean, yes, he's an inspiration, not only to the kids that played beside him and the coaches that coach him, but the teams that we play against, and they're all asking about Mark. And he's never sought any special treatment. But he's very kind-hearted and he never gives up. He doesn't hold back at all. He doesn't quit. He's a stubborn child, very active. He doesn't quit. When he's got his mind set on something, he's gonna do it. People think I can't do it. This guy's an easy target. It would try whatever it takes to take me down, to make me not want to play anymore, but it makes me want to keep going. I'm not just going to give up on me or my teammates or anybody that's counting on me. Perseverance to me, it means overcoming all odds, man. Yeah, I believe Marquis has overcome all the odds. You know, he sacrifices a lot being out there. He knows he's going to take some hits, you know, and, and, and he does it and he doesn't complain one bit about it. He just goes out and he does whatever's asked of him. I think he is a big, you know, huge inspiration here. He's got a great work ethic. He was voted by his peers as a team captain. Um, you know, he plays because he earned the right to play, not because, he, you know, of his, his circumstances. He goes out and performs at a high level. He's one of our best blocking wide receivers. I mean, he, he's redefined perseverance, and he's motivated me as a former player and as a current coach. My son doesn't realize it yet right now, what he is doing. It's not what I've done with him. It's what my son has done. I take no credit for what my son has done. The only credit I take is I have him. Okay, I know the audio was not very clear, but uh, I'm pretty sure all of you were able to get the gist of what the story was about. Uh, Ibra, can you sum it up for them? Oh, uh, I mean, I don't know how much you guys heard, but essentially what it is, is it's a defining odds um, that not letting a certain aspect of your life define how you, how you perceive life, how you go about your daily life, how you take on things. Um, I mean, look at him, for example, he's only got one arm. I mean, he's a football player. Of all things, a football player, something that- And the captain like, of the team. Exactly. The, the captain, captain of the team. A lot of, a lot of people who've got two arms and two legs can't even get on a football team. Um, just And he was able to do that. And I mean, he didn't let something that he was born with define how he looked at life. He's a high school captain. I mean. That's, that's abs that should be an inspiration to you guys um, and, and how you perceive your life. At the least to show up on time for classes. <laughs> if a kid can show up to the football field, the soccer field with one hand, what excuse do we have when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us everything? You know, Aisha, what comes to your mind? After, after after seeing this video the the word that comes to my mind is resilience you know sometimes we feel uh you know sorry for people that are less fortunate but they don't want us uh, they don't want our pity they want us to look at them as an example that if you work hard you can achieve anything anything is possible 
You know, that's a very good point you made. They don't want us to feel sorry for them because they are not banking on anybody's pity, right? They're not out there with their sorry story. Hey, look at me. And if, if anything, they want to be ahead of everyone, right? And there's so many stories like that. Can anyone tell me, like, what allowed him to be where he is? A captain of the team come, I mean, like I said, you know, for some people, it's difficult to show up on time for classes. And here you have a person who definitely has challenging circumstances, but he beats all odds, right? And he is in top form. So what allows him to perform the way he does? Can anyone? Hard work, um, dedication, share? hard work, dedication. A student, a student, any of the students. His determination. Perfect. His determination. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? What do you think? Like, what is it that gave his heart the capacity to perform the way that he did? His passion for football. His passion for football. It's, an, it's the action of the heart. It's not the action of the limbs. And that's what makes the difference. When your heart is active, you can beat any and every odd. And that's what you need to take from here. He took charge of his life. And whatever came his way, he was like, whatever, you know, I'm going to beat it all. Okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given everyone the capacity to succeed. But if we don't make the effort, we're never going to move from point A to point B. In order to move from point A to point B, we have to put in that effort. And again, going back to that ayah of Surah Rad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not change the state of a community unless they change themselves. Unless we take that first step, you will not find that tawfiq. That's an example of tawfiq, really. If you want to understand what tawfiq is, we know when we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we make that dua, give us tawfiq, give us tawfiq. That's an example of tawfiq. That's a case study for tawfiq, really. Okay? So uh, always spend some time of your day, and every intelligent person does that, regardless of your spirituality. It has nothing to do with spirituality. Even all successful people will say this. They spend a portion of their day reflecting on the moments that have passed. Okay? I mean, for us, it's an act of ibadah. But even if you remove religion from it, you, this is the practice of successful people. That they self-assess. They do muhasaba. Okay, they take account of themselves. And that's the sign of intelligence. So with that, I'll let you go into your first period classes. Okay, expecting you to be awesome as you are. All right, and uh, keep doing good. Full-time hips, regular students, everyone. Please make sure that you're showing up on time to classes. All right, and resist surfing on the internet. Mr. Fauzia? Uh, yes. We have a quick announcement for the canned food drive. Uh, Asalaamu Alaikum, everyone. MashaAllah, it was such an such amazing, amazing reminder. So Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy that after that I get to go <laughs> and I had to talk about my drive. Alhamdulillah, so our, all of our drive, Alhamdulillah. So finally, we have a date. Actually, we have two dates. So I hope you guys, all of you are collecting, busy collecting uh, and buying, inshallah, however much you can. So here are the two dates. We have uh, two Fridays, next Friday, 11th November, and then 18th of November as well. So you collect your items and you bring it uh, to school, drop it off, uh, preferably in a box. And if you cannot make it this Friday, bring it next, next Friday. And uh, class wrap very important job you have to remind your classmates and also encourage them keep calm because remember it's a class-wide competition and you will uh we are not going to announce the prize yet but it's something that you will love it okay inshallah so anything else aisha did i miss anything so far it's so Sharifa, you did great. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for reminding the girls. Girls, Alhamdulillah, we kept on um, letting you guys know that the date will be uh, determined. But Alhamdulillah, um, so we are. You guys have to come to campus twice this week, this Friday, and next Friday to. 
pick up your exams, your midterms, and then also to turn them in. The time will be decided shortly or it will be announced once we find out from school. However, take advantage of this time, girls, two weeks, alhamdulillah, two weeks for you guys to gain an incredible amount of hasana. So don't waste any time. The first thing, I, what, what did we tell you guys to do? Go into your kitchens and go into your pantries and um, see what items you can collect from there. And then additionally, if your parents happen to go do some grocery shopping, then give them a list, a small one, and say, please give the, uh, bring these items so that way you can, you know, donate and pay it forward, inshallah. And trust me, it'll be such a rewarding experience. And, you know, imagine all the people that you will be helping. Um, Sadia has created a beautiful flyer. That flyer will be sent out with an email that Sister Sharifa will, you know, um, draft today, inshallah. So the time will be announced, but the dates you all know. This Friday, December 11th, and the next Friday, December 18th, inshallah. And by the way, I just quickly posted it on chat. If you can quickly uh, glance at it, <laughs> the list of items. Oh, that's so, perfect. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> All righty. That's good. Okay. Good As also, oh, 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 uh, one other thing, Sister Fauzi, sorry. Salwa had another announcement as well. Um, as After Sharifa, are you, uh, anything else? Uh, yes, Sharifa? Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Aisha. Oh, no, okay, thank Salma. you. Okay. Salma, go ahead. Um, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, everyone. Um, so I know a lot of you guys are probably pretty stressed out with your midterms and stuff, and you're gonna probably going to be studying this entire week and even next week before your midterms. So student council, we all wanted to give you guys a way to, I guess, de-stress after your mm -hmm. midterms wow. with a little late night snack social type of thing. So an email will be sent out soon with the flyer and stuff but i'll just basically tell you guys what it is um next friday the 18th we'll be all getting onto a zoom call and just chilling and eating snacks together that's literally all it is to just de-stress from taking midterms and just talk to your classmates about something other than school because i know that's literally everybody talks what everyone talks about nowadays so so it's for an hour yeah it's just for an hour okay all right. That 8 to 9 good. p.m. Inshallah. Inshallah. Next Friday. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, so inshallah, with that, uh, I guess we will let you go into your classes and please make sure that you are showing up on time. Don't keep your teachers waiting. Okay. All right. And, uh, teachers, if you have students reporting late to your class, please let Safina know immediately. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.